Remove gasket from all mating surfaces with special tool flat scraper YSST612. Eliminate carbon deposits from all components like piston crown, cylinder head, etc. with flat scraper. Put all major components in part cleaning machine. and wash them using nylon brush. Blow compressed air on all components and in all passages. Ensure that all components are clean and dry before inspection. Measure cylinder warpage across cylinder head surface using feeler gauge on surface plate or surface glass. Warpage should be within service limit. If warpage limit exceeds, resurface cylinder head. Visually check valves. Measure stem diameter using 0 to 25 mm micrometer. Stem diameter should be within service limit. If it is out of specification, replace cylinder head. Measure valve seat width with vernier caliper. Valve seat width should be within service limit. If it is out of specification, lap valve seat till required seat width is obtained. Check valve spring free length with a vernier caliper. Valve spring free length should be within service limit. Measure valve spring tilt. Valve spring tilt limit should be within service limit. If it is out of specification, replace valve springs as a set. Check cam sprocket for any wear and damage. If sprocket tooth is worn out one fourth of a tooth or more, replace cam sprocket and timing chain as a set. Check seating of timing chain on sprocket. Check timing chain guide for any wear or damage. If any wear or damage is detected, Replace timing chain guide. Check camshaft lobes for blue discoloration, pitting or scratches. If any of these is found, replace camshaft. Measure camshaft lobe dimensions with micrometer. Camshaft lobe dimension limit of intake side is Exhaust side is Lobes dimensions should be within service limit. Lubricate rocker arm bearing and shaft with engine oil. Check for its free movement. Measure rocker arm bore with an inside micrometer. Rocker arm bore inside diameter should be within service limit. Measure rocker arm shaft outside diameter with micrometer. Outside diameter should be within service limit. Rocker arm to rocker arm shaft clearance should be within service limit. If found out of specification, replace arm and shaft as a set. Check tensioner for external damages. Check free movement of tensioner rod. Ensure that tensioner rod movement is smooth. 
If there is any rough movement, replace timing chain tensioner. Piston rings and gap should be within service limit. If oil rings, rail gap is excessive, replace piston rings as a set. Measure piston pin bore outside diameter with micrometer. Piston pin outside diameter should be within service limit. Measure piston pin bore inside diameter with inside micrometer. Piston pin bore inside diameter should be within service limit. Measure piston to cylinder clearance. For this, measure cylinder bore diameter with cylinder bore gauge at measuring point H. By taking side to side and front to back measurements of cylinder, then find average of measurements. C is equal to X plus Y by 2. Measure piston skirt diameter at 5 mm above bottom with micrometer. If out of specification, replace cylinder, replace piston and piston rings as a set. Piston to cylinder clearance is equal to cylinder bore C minus piston skirt diameter D. Piston to cylinder clearance should be within limit. If out of specification, replace cylinder, replace piston and piston rings as a set. Place crankshaft on center lathe. Measure crankshaft runout limit with a dial gauge. It should be within service limit. Measure crankshaft web width with vernier caliper. Crankshaft web width should be within service limit. Measure big end side clearance with filler gauge. Big end side clearance should be within service limit. Check sprockets on crankshaft for any wear or damage. If any of these is observed, replace crankshaft. Lubricate crankshaft bearing with engine oil and check for its free movement. Check crankshaft oil gallery by blowing oil into oil gallery. Ensure that oil comes out from big end. Replace crankshaft if any measurements are out of specifications or any damages are found. Check main axle assembly for any damage or wear. Check drive axle for any damage or wear. Check transmission gear teeth for any cracks or damage. If any of them is found damaged or worn out, replace that gear. Check starter clutch gear contacting surface for damage, pitting or wear. If any defect is observed, replace it. Check starter clutch operation. For this, install starter wheel gear onto starter clutch and hold starter clutch. When turning starter wheel gear in clockwise direction, starter wheel gear should turn freely. In counterclockwise rotation, it should get locked. If it does not get locked, replace it. Check clutch housing for any damage or wear. If any defect is found, replace it. Measure clutch housing inside diameter with vernier caliper. Clutch housing inside diameter should be within service limit. If found out of specification, replace clutch housing. Check clutch shoes for any damage or wear. If any defect is found, replace clutch shoes and spring as a set. Check clutch shoe for glazed area. If any glazed area is found, sand it with coarse sandpaper. 
Never touch clutch shoe with oily or greasy hand. Measure clutch shoe thickness with vernier caliper. Clutch shoe thickness should be within service limit. Check V-belt for any cracks, damage or wear. If any defect is found, replace V-belt. Measure width of V-belt with vernier caliper. Width should be within service limit. If it is found out of specifications, replace V-belt. Check both primary sliding sheave and primary fixed sheave for any cracks, damage or wear. If any defect is found, replace both sheaves as a set. Check primary sheave weight for any crack or damage. Measure primary sheave weight out to diameter with a vernier caliper. Diameter should be within service limit. Check sliders for any crack or damage. If any of them is found damaged or worn out, replace weight and sliders as a set. Check both secondary fixed sheave and secondary sliding sheave for any cracks, damage or wear. Check the torque cam grooves for damage or wear. If any damage is found, replace both sheaves as a set. Check guide pin for damage or wear. If found damaged, replace guide pins as a set. Measure spring free length with vernier caliper. Spring free length should be within service limit. If it is found out of specification, replace spring. Check kickstarter shaft and kickstarter gear for any damage or wear. If any damage is found, replace it with new one.